Hello everyone. So in this uh, lab, I will be showing you how you can build a Terraform CI CD pipeline using GitHub Actions. Okay. So first thing what you will do is you will uh, check out your GitHub. Uh, you will check out your Terraform code, whatever your Terraform is doing. Let's say my Terraform is creating an EC2 instance. Okay. I will check out the code into the GitHub repository. Okay. And apart from that, I will also configure a GitHub Actions uh, YML file. Okay, and as soon as I do that, uh, what will happen is uh, the GitHub Actions will start to start doing the Terraform plan. Okay, and once the plan is completed, it will do a, do a Terraform apply. If you want, you can also do a Terraform destroy accordingly. You can either apply or you can either do destroy. And all these things would be happening inside a GitHub managed environment. Okay, and for in order for this to communicate with AWS and to remote the to store the remote state. Okay, we would be using S3 bucket and you would be using IAM roles or IAM credentials for this demo. I won't say IAM roles, I'll say I am uh, access key for this demo. Okay, this is what we are building. Now, with that being said, let me show you the repository. I've already committed the code inside the GitHub repository. Okay, so this is what my GitHub repository uh, looks like. Okay, so I have the Terraform files. Now, let me explain you this repository. So I have Terraform file, okay, main.tf. Uh, this file is doing a simple thing. It is creating an EC2 instance for me. And you can see many of the things are variableized over here. Okay. So these are the variables which I'm using. So region name, instance type, access key, S3 bucket name, instance name, all these things are variables. And I'm passing the variables using the TF4 files. Okay. Now, I don't want to build Terraform in my local laptop or I don't want to use any other CI provider. I want uh, inside my GitHub account itself, it should use GitHub Actions, okay? And it should do a Terraform plan and Terraform apply for me. And to do that, I have written inside this .github folder, I've created a file, I've created one more folder or one more directory known as GitHub uh, workflows. And inside this, that is a Terraform.yml file. Okay, and inside this YML file, what I'm doing is, I'm saying whenever there's a push or that commit to the main branch, then inside the GitHub itself, we create a Ubuntu uh, instance. Okay, now this could be a virtual machine or it could be a container running inside Ubuntu. Okay, and use AWS uh, environment. What is AWS environment over here? Okay, so what I've done is, what I've done over here is, uh, give me a moment. Okay, the environment is basically configured over here. So if you go to the settings and if you go to AWS, sorry, if you go to environment, I've created an environment over here by clicking on new environment. I've called this environment as AWS. And inside this, I'm storing the AWS access key ID, access key secret, and I'm saving the AWS region name, okay, as the environment secrets. Okay, you can save environment variables or you can save environment secrets inside the environment tab within GitHub, okay. And what will this let me do? This let me basically use this inside this Ubuntu machine. Okay, so one Ubuntu machine is creating inside the GitHub environment. And inside that environment, what I'm doing is I'm first setting up these variables, as you can see over here. Okay. And then I'm using a managed task known as Hashika or setup Terraform. And what this managed task will do is this will install Terraform or setup Terraform on this Ubuntu machine, which is inside my GitHub environment. And then uh, it is doing a Terraform in it. It is doing a Terraform plan. And then finally, it is doing a Terraform apply. Okay. So how do I run it? So let's say that I do a small change. I can do any change. Uh, I can do change anywhere. Let's say I do change over here. Let's copy paste this line one more time. And let me commit these changes. This is called as updates. This will commit and push the changes. Okay, and if I go to my GitHub repository, here I'll say under GitHub Actions that this update has already started my GitHub Action. And what this GitHub Action is doing? This GitHub Action is doing the steps which I just explained you. It is doing a Terraform plan. And now it is doing a Terraform apply. And what this Terraform apply will do is, this Terraform apply will create an easy to instance because that's what my Terraform code is doing over here. Okay. So in some time, I'll have an easy to instance running inside my AWS environment. Over here inside my AWS environment, I have a EC2 instance running. 
Okay, you can see this. So this is how you can use uh, GitHub Actions to basically to run Terraform Python.